and Dark and Ran back, just having killed a Shadow Broker, and now the R is taken over. Replace the Shadow Broker. <laughs> so let's see what she's got for us. Shepard, it's so good to see you. I've set up a few terminals with information I think you'll find interesting. Take a look. If you just cool. need a serious um, change of staff. <laughs> What's this? That's the old broker's VI assistant. It's actually been helpful with rebuilding the network. Please let me know if I can organize anything else for you, Shadow Broker. It also thinks anyone in the room is the broker. I'll play around with the settings later. My manual is ready whenever you have a moment. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that thing entertains me. Yeah, same. <coughs> Dossiers. Oh my. Anderson, David That's... E. Decorated Alliance Captain and Rejected Spectre Candidate. Influence with Council Citadel Council questionable. Close working relationship with Commander Shepard before destruction of Normandy SR1. Monitor communications for renewed contact with Shepard. <coughs> Correspondence. This information on a lot of people. Yeah. <coughs> From uh, Captain Farrah Capoli, Arctura Station. David Anderson. I have been asked to step in on a matter of your continued vocal and insistent support of Commander Shepard, formerly of the SR-1 Normandy, within the Alliance military into third-party contracts. The matter of Commander Shepard and his involvement in the, at in the attack on Citadel Council is of high value to military intelligence and the Galactic Council. To that end, we respectfully ask you cease and desist your continued investigation that has been deemed closed and sealed for two solar years. Your continued agitation in this matter is deemed a high security risk with potential repercussions for galactic security. Please consider your position carefully. If you have any questions, feel free to contact my office. Sincerely, a fucking dumbass. Arctura <coughs> Station. Personal correspondence. From oh Cynthia Barris. I'm not sure who that is. <coughs> David, Henry and I went to Jason's graduation ceremony in San Francisco today. Such a beautiful occasion. All those gowns and bright spirits. So much potential. I know Henry would frown at the thought, but I couldn't help recalling the pomp around your appointment to the Hastings. You were all you were second in command, weren't you? The military always did ceremony very well. God, that was a lifetime ago. Jason says to send his best. I'm so proud of him. Aerospace engineer. I don't pretend to understand what he does, but the gleam in his eye when he's trying to explain his latest designs to me says that he has found a place in this universe. He wanted you to be there at, at a ceremony, but I know duty calls. He sees you as a heroic figure off fighting grand battles in space. I hope you can make it for the holidays this year. Henry asked just the other day. I know you don't see eye to eye on much, but he respects you. He respects what you do. And you know Jason is over the moon when you when you can take the time to review his ship designs. Let me know it about the holidays. Like he, it sounds like she's his wife. Yeah. <laughs> Either that or some sort of close person. I mean, love Cynthia. I mean, love is a closing remark you can use for yeah, more yeah. than just... It could also be family. Yeah. Recent transactions. Catalog order. Dionysus imports. Video download. Saren, a hero betrayed. <laughs> Purchase 223... Modus Valley brand. Two bottles. White wine. Video download. Damage. The truth find a citadel crisis. Purchase Ilium Elite Brand, one bottle of gold lab label eraser. Video download, a path of light, the path of light, a history of the Alliance military. Video download, afraid of the dark, reapers, collectors, and other myths. Purchase Red Jan Janie Brand, two bottles, special stock vodka. Services. I don't think he's doing very well. <laughs> Clean sweep home maintenance. No shit. <laughs> Speak, well, speaking of uh, interesting dossiers. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Uh, the Elusive Man profile. They've even got Ooh stuff on the Elusive man. man. Four cigarettes smoked today. Seven drinks. Daily Skyball score, 160 to 0. Fifth consecutive perfect game. Suit worn today. Gulil, Vorn. Light Linton blend, 220 <laughs> hundred thread count. Single button closure, bosom chest pocket. Five interior pockets and four button cuffs. Side vents. Built-in protection from close-range fire. Plum-colored. Sexual liaisons in the past week. 
Sani Sh uh, Shalani, Ilium Entertainment's Sexiest Human Alive. Brooke Karinger, Skyball Champion. Vela v uh, Vicious, Fornax Dream Girl for $21.85. Stacy and Steffi Strong, the Terra Firmer Twins. And Matriarch Chalani, twice. So for someone who's supposed to be very elusive and, you know, hard to find, he gets it down. <laughs> yeah. He has sent messages today to the Citadel, Ilum, Omega, Earth, Horizon, Eden Prime, Thessia, Palavan, Tachunka, and a Migrant Fleet. Also, for someone who's a head of a human supremacist organization, he seems to be uh, open-minded in the bedroom. Yeah... A lot. I'm. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not gonna go through all of this stuff on screen because I'm sure all of this is on the wiki, and this is a lot of info. Yeah, that's what they Okay, that's nothing important. Investment opportunities. Hmm. I actually don't remember what this is. Oh my. Warning signal. A pirate fleet is massing on the fringes of terminus systems in preparation for a raid on outlying alliance colonies. Sending a tick off to Admiral Hap Hackett about the upcoming evasion. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. <laughs> Bureaucracy in action. Serta Foundation can't start tests on a promising new antibiotic because of accidentally misfiled paperwork. Use your contacts to help them cut through the red tape so they can begin clinical trials. I mean, this is the same people who invented Medigel, so why not? Yeah. If we're gonna trust any corporation. Smear campaign. A corrupt politician is trying to levy t heavy taxes on all Earth manufactured goods coming into his system in exchange for kickbacks from local businesses. Ruin that politi politician's reputation with a smear campaign says his proposal doesn't pass. I hate politicians, so it's money well spent. Just reward. Eclipse mercenaries have secretly set up a red sand production facility on the planet Cuevo. Tip off planetary authorities about the facility in exchange for half the credit seized during the raid. Yeah. Seems like a good investment. So you just have to wait for them to pay off. Nice. Shadow broker ship model. The world is actually helping the galaxy for a change. I know, right? And this is just, I can purchase a, uh, the location of a planet that has a bunch of, uh, those elements. So not too important. It's like I was about to say, we're lower on credit than we're on any other resource. Are we taking uh, this? Yeah, Victorian that's... The council member's mistress has made some unusual purchases lately. She okay. may be expecting Maybe. to move to a larger mansion. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. How are you doing, Liara? I'm a bit overwhelmed, to be honest. The Shadow Broker had more resources than you can imagine. Here, come on over. And that's he had uh, top level access to the Turian and Asari governments. And more than one Solarian Dalatros traded intel. And now it's ours. You're not gonna turn into a recluse with creepy information on everyone in the galaxy, are you? I can understand the temptation. I've got all the secrets of the galaxy at my fingertips. Give me ten minutes and I could start a war. But I've got a purpose. Helping you stop the Reapers. That will keep me honest. You know, know. relatively speaking. <laughs> Have you found anything useful yet? The Shadow Broker knew about the Reapers. Perhaps that's why he offered to help prove Saren's guilt to the Council. He didn't want Saren to succeed. He also, also knew probably that the Galactus were Prothians, <laughs> repurposed to be Harbinger's puppets. There's even some data on the Protheans. I think he knew what was coming and was looking for a way to survive. How did you know what the Shadow Broker was? I didn't. I had no idea what to expect when we finally found him. But I researched pre-space flight cultures during some of my Prothean studies. I know a bit about the Yogg. There's more on the terminals if you want to look. They're a fascinating culture, and a terrifying one. So basically, she got lucky. Why was he still <laughs> looking at Protheans? They gave us the warning and the conduit at Ilos, but we've used those. The Shadow Broker seemed to think there was more out there. Perhaps the Protheans had other plans. 
Or it's a maybe he was off. just grasping at anything that offered some hope. How's Perrin doing? As well as you'd expect, after two years of intermittent torture. You gonna be okay? I don't know. He wants to work, so I'm letting him help. Maybe it takes his mind off it. Probably for so, the best time. you and Farron? No. He's been through a traumatic ordeal. He's emotionally fragile and needs to heal. He's very grateful to me for saving him. But it would be irresponsible of me to take advantage of that. Correct. It was mm -hmm. good talking with you, Liara. Let me know if you need anything. I think what I need right now is a friend. I can't leave for too long, but spending all my time on this ship. Maybe next time you come by, I could come up to the Normandy. Sounds good. Next time I come down, it's a date. I'm looking forward to it. Right. I'll be after romancing Tally, it's just to be safe. Repurchase effective no, status status. On Karshan. I have deducted funds to grant you full elite access. Okay then. There's Farron. Well, let's look at some stuff over here. Ooh, more stuff. What does this console do? This is the video surveillance access point. I've queued up the archive footage you requested on your last visit, Shadow Broker. Remember, you can zoom in for more detailed viewing and can pause any time during playback. Aria Tolo, Omega. Well, someone broke the number one rule on Omega. Yeah. Emily Wong, Citadel. Okay then. Fred Mazai, Citadel. I'm not sure who that is, but okay. Okay. Donnell Udina, Citadel. Oh boy, Counselor Udina. Well, he's not Counselor. Yeah, the other one. Hey, is he still Ambassador? Yeah, he's still the Ambassador. Well, Counselor's aide, but whatever. Yeah. Armando Bailey, Citadel. The name sounds familiar. That's, ca that's Captain Bailey, Seasick. Oh, yeah, yeah. He looks a bit down. Citadel. Hmm. Hmm. Praetor Gavon. Omega. All oh, right, we didn't talk to him. Uh, there's hmm. a there's a group of Vorcha we ran into on Omega that when we walked up to them. They just started shouting about, tell Galvorn we killed no one today. And then after you do um, the mission to get Morden, you can get run by and talk to him. And he's like, you know, there's been a drop in the Vorcha population lately. You know anything about that? Nope. Nothing at all. <laughs> but he, talk, he, he talks about his job is basically just clean up the Vorcha. Ah, uh, yes. The reporter. The one we hate. <laughs> Get yeeted. Well, someone had to. Keeper 20, Citadel. Wow, even if on actual keepers we numbered and everything, how do you even recognize which one's which? No. The question is what killed that blood pack, Merc? The keeper killed you. Matriarch Atheta, Ilium. Hang on a second. You recognize that picture, don't you? Sounds familiar. Come on, we've seen we've seen that face. Look, I've seen a lot of Asadi blue Asadi faces, and it's kind of blurry. Okay, fair enough. 
So you're not gonna tell me? Uh, let's see if we can ask her about it. Well, that is so exaggerated. It's all right, comical. Yeah. Elias Kellum, Omega. Talk <laughs> an asshole. <laughs> beep, beep, motherfucker. Jacob, they look like he needed it, though. E even footage from the ship. Okay. <laughs> I guess someone liked his abs. Yeah, about half of the female zero. community. Purgatory. Ship now defunct. You mean the half that's not all into them? I mean, some girls, like, some girls like multiple guys. Yeah, fair enough. Jack tearing through purgatory. Aria Talok. Okay, Omega. we've gone through everything here. Check for more videos on your next visit. Oh boy. Oh man. Shepard, glad you stopped by. We don't get many visitors. Take it easy. You've been through a lot. You're probably right. I never did say thanks for the rescue. Liara never gave up on you, Farron. I just helped. I'm just a muscle. I'm still amazed Liara came for me. I'll never forget what either of you did. I can log that in the archives for you, sir. I see you met the secretary. For two years, Liara didn't stop looking for you. You two must have been close. She's a good friend. Better than I deserve. Something like you tells me more than that. <laughs> the drone follows everyone. I don't know why the broker kept it around. I'm a shell for a specialized data processing VI, custom built to your specification, Shadow Broker. It helps coordinate the network's massive information feeds, but it could use a different interface tone. You deemed my uh -huh. personality like sufficient for your needs, Shadow Broker. I wish it would stop calling me that. <laughs> How are you holding up, Barrett? I'm... I'll be alright. I wasn't always strapped into that interrogation chair. Drell can mentally escape into old memories. It came in handy on the bad days. How many times did the Shadow Broker hook you up to that contraption? A lot. It gets fuzzy. He made the guards watch, as an example. How did you and Liara both end up looking for my body? Cerberus headhunted me and Liara to steal your body from the Shadow Broker. I was working for the Broker at the time, and he's the one who scraped up your remains in the first place. What turned you against the Shadow Broker? He started working for the Collectors. You weren't their first victim. I am... was an information traitor, not a slaver. What will you do now that you're a free man? I want to help Liara rebuild this place, but... After that. Your schedule's getting full, sir. Let me sync it to your Omni tool. No thanks, I'm fine. <laughs> Take it easy, Baron. <laughs> thanks. Yeah. The drone is amusing. Indeed it is. say you visit? It's 35, okay. Oh, let's see if I can poke and prod some information out of, uh, let's say, uh, Dumps us in a random corner of the galaxy. Sounds good, right? Now where's there it is. Thought 
Oh, yeah, on Dylan. Yeah, we, we need to get back to, uh, you know, the main story. We still got plot missions to do, one final squad mate to go hunt down, and a couple of loyalty missions to take care of. You know, mine or Victor's. Yeah. And Jacob, because I haven't leveled him up in a while. Yeah, fair enough, I guess. This would be a quick run anyway. It's annoying that they still uh, put a um, put a limit on their sprinting out of combat. Yeah. I'm looking for the best So those get fixed in three, right? Pretty much, yeah. Mass Effect 3, they hit, they hit the happy medium on a lot of things. That's Unpopular good. opinion, but yes. So can I call her out for that? Wait, slave broker where? Oh, there you are. We'll figure something out. Stop worrying. It's okay, I'll think hmm. of something. You said synthetic insights would buy me. You said it was an easy sale. I assumed they would want an AI tech. Hello, can I help you with something? Have you made this quarry in your slave? We prefer the term indentured servants. Before you do anything hasty, know that this quarry signed the agreement voluntarily and her servitude contract is completely legal on Ilium. If you actually want to help the quarry and convince the Synthetic Insights representative to purchase her contract. If slavery is legal, then why are you trying to sell the quarry? I don't keep service contracts myself. I'm a contract broker. I assumed Synthetic Insights would jump at the chance for a skilled AI tech, but they won't even make me an offer. Why did this Quarian sign herself into slavery? I tried to play the stock market. I'm good with numbers, and I thought I had a way to make unlimited money. I lost everything. Then I got a credit line and lost that. Then I took out an illegal loan. You get the picture. As part of our agreement, I paid off her debts. Five years from now, she'll have a fresh start and excellent work references. Well, we've been over why slavery is legal here. I'll talk to the Synthetic Insights rep and see what I can do. Really? Thank you. I'd appreciate that. You deserve somebody who respects you. I'm surprised Tally didn't have anything to say there. Can I help you with something? Yeah. How would you like to get your hands on an expert quarry and AI programmer? If you'd like to submit a resume, I... Wait. Is this that slave? Synthetic Insights has no interest in purchasing slave labor. We're under enough scrutiny from the Citadel without engaging in practices the Council disapproves of. To be frank, we're hardly hiring anyone. The Geth attack on the Citadel didn't engender much love for artificial intelligence. But it sounds like Synthetic Insights is worried about its reputation. Hiring this quarry would help. Buying a slave helps our reputation. How exactly do you figure? Purchase the contract, minus the fee for early emancipation. Then free the Quarian and garnish wages for reimbursement. I know the migrant fleet would be grateful and more likely to make purchases from you. Interesting. We look good for hiring a Quarian, and we can say that we freed slaves out of the goodness of our hearts. All right, I'll run up a contract. The board might wet its pants, but we could use the good publicity. This Quarian had better be good, though. What was it Tally said? I'm a Quarian. Give me some element zero and. Zero scrap metal and circuits, and I'll have it making precision jumps. <laughs> Synthetic yep. Insights just sent over the contract. I cannot thank you enough. I'm happy to help. Here, for your trouble. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll get this service contract transferred. Thank you. I'll stay out of trouble this time. All right. They in. Welcome back, babe. Can I get you anything? Sorry, no sex. Just cleaned the bar. <laughs> so you're implying that if you didn't just clean the bar. What's it like being in a sorry major? Pretty much like being anything else. My parents had it more interesting than I did. Hmm. Hmm. Oh well. Thanks what for telling hmm. me. That's what I'm here for, babe. Get you anything else? Just looking around. Pleasure as always. 
Well, I was hoping I could call her out. Maybe it's in the next game you call her out on it. But, uh, that picture is, is Liara. Hmm. Remember earlier she mentioned that she had a pure blood daughter. Fair enough. Which means that we've we found Liara's other parents. I need minimal heat increase. And to think, literally around the corner from each other. Mm-hmm. And the family thing. Yeah. Twenty-five. Quite. Sell at twenty-five. No, no, no. I hate stock markets. It's like an auction. Yep. <laughs> you know, if I remember correctly, uh, someone uh, like I'm not gonna say random numbers, but that's basically the figure of speech. Basically, took like the interior of the Normandy and overlaid it on its uh, full-size model, and in a rare, um, rare case, it actually fits. <laughs> That's kind of amusing. Yep. Right then, check for any messages. Nope. Well then, shall we go investigate a derelict Reaper? Oh my! Sure. What could? Possibly go wrong with that. Uh, Don't answer that. Yeah, that's it. You sure about that? Over here. And before we actually move in, I'm gonna make an extra save and write down which one it is. Save 36, I think. Yes, because it's entirely po possible to. Botch the sequence of events that follow it. Oh my. And I'd rather not. Understand that one? I would also rather not. <laughs> but so, yeah, you remember that uh, when the first planets we landed on in the first game, to, it was a moon and you could see on the planet that big gouge from a mass driver? Yeah. Um... This is what it was aiming at. <laughs> Orbiting Nimosa. Nimusain is a two kilometer long ship with an unmistakable profile of a Reaper. It is giving off power signatures in localized areas, but they are far weaker than a ship that size should in would indicate. And the Reaper seems to maintain a mass effect field that has kept it from falling into the failed star, but massive holes have been blasted and melted into parts of the hull and remain unrepaired. The only logical conclusion is this is, th is that the Reaper died or is at least reduced to minimal functioning a long time ago. So we're gonna go on board. What could go wrong with that? Let's yeah. just grab Grunt and Tally. Oh boy, here we go. You can even see the gouge right there. The job, Joker. Doing my best. The wind's gusting to 500 kph. Second ship alongside the Reaper. It's not transmitting any IFF, but the radar paints its silhouette as Geth. I guess we know why the science team stopped reporting in. Oh boy, Geth. Sounds of They do worship the Reapers. What just mm -hmm. happened? The Reapers' mass effect fields are still active. We just passed inside their envelope. Eye of the hurricane, huh? No shit. I doubt don't need this anymore. The airlock has been installed at the far end of the hold section. We have begun pressurization for shirt sleeves work. The crew is edgy. I reassure them it is mere nerves, a superstitious reaction to what this hulk represents. The corpse of a vast ancient life form. Privately, I can't deny the atmosphere. The angles of the wall seem to press down on you. I find myself clenching my teeth. 
Egyptian Dana believes they would have decayed over the last 37 million years. There's not enough data to support his claim. He asserts that the truth is patently obvious. I am concerned. Chandana has been staring at the samples for hours. He says he's listening to them. That's not good. The Reaper put up kinetic barriers. I don't think we can get through from our side. As curious as I am about the Reapers, I'd rather not be trapped inside one. We'll have to take down the barrier generators from in here. Any idea where they are? At the moment of activation, I detected a heat spike in what is likely the Rex Mass Effect core, sending the coordinates now. Be advised, hmm. this core is also maintaining the Reaper's altitude. So when we take the barriers down to escape, the wreck falls into the planet core. And that means everyone dies. Yeah, I got it. If any helmsman can pull us off this thing before it reaches crush depth, it's you. We'll make a sweep for survivors and recover what data we can. Stand by. Aye, aye. Good hunting. Yeah. What a mess. If you could count, no one's hungry. <laughs> what a mess. Anyone else hungry? Explosives. Totally not going to be used in a second. Hostile. Totally. Some more of those, I guess, huh? Not <sighs> Geth made these husk things. Geth origin never made sense to me. This confirms it's from the Reapers. Not giving a fuck about this Oh, and then she went down anyway. Die. At least we know what happened to the science team, right? Mm -hmm. See that, don't you, Ren? What is the top of the scope? Oh. That's a Geth. Okay. I just it wasn't is. sure because it was a little low range. Yeah, I had a just the scope. I also see a spiked person, but you know. That's just a step point, right? Yeah. Several spiked people. 
Yeah, he doesn't seem too concerned about shooting us, though. And the fact that he shot at the he sh he shot the husks too. Hmm. That part I didn't notice. Yeah. All right, the sniper. Incoming. Oh, he's fucking off now. Okay, bye. Guess you're not gonna shoot at us. It would be nice if he, you know, if he was gonna shoot husks. He stuck around to shoot these. Burn and die. Wait. Wait. Is there less party member I get? Comment, huh? No, no comment. Ah, uh, fucking Zion! Now he's down. He got tagged by an abomination. Hmm. Alright, the abomination is the one that is low, right? Yeah. Okay. Hey! Oh. I just saw something start to get up and I was like, fuck! And you just took me a moment to remember, like, oh yeah, they actually have separate names now. Grant, where are you going? Smell the solarium. <laughs> Grunt, where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Grunt, I know you're hungry, but come on, let's go. Did you did you did you miss the whole part about we can't get back to the ship right now? <laughs> I need mean, uh, a few difficulties actually making him perfect. Yeah, okay, I missed a few uh Sounds like he missed a spot in the... Uh, yeah. I don't know, DNA thing, something. Jantana said the ship was dead. We trusted him. He was right. But even a dead god can dream. A god, a real god, is a verb. Not some old man with magic powers. It's a force. It warps reality just by being there. It doesn't have to want to. It doesn't have to think about it. It just does. Space Cthulhu. Yep. This might be useful. We've seen these before, Shepard. Dragon's teeth, your people call them. The Geth used them on the Eden Prime. See how the room is arranged? Hmm. They treated this thing like some kind of altar. That doesn't seem right. No one in their right mind would want this. You heard the logs. They were seeing things, hearing things. They were being indoctrinated. We can't help these people now. But we won't let the machines use their corpses like this. Yep. Okay, now which fucking way? Back that way. Sure about that. <clears throat> Do 
Interesting. Shepard Commander. Wait. Is that... Isn't that part of our armor? <laughs> Good eye. <laughs> okay. Well, clearly there's something special about this one. Also, I love Grunt because I can kick and talk. Tell it I don't need its help. He fucked off without actually taking care, taking care of the majority, or at least helping. They're still as tough as in the first game. Oh, hello there. Come on, sprint at me. Sprint at me. I can hurt that. Nope. Man, I fucking hate those things. I fucking hate those things. I fucking hate those things. They're so goddamn tanky, and they have a cover penetrating shots. Dang it! Shit. Ahead of us. Oh, at least it doesn't set you to send it that far. Watch your right. 
on. Did this AOE shock burst? Huh. <sighs> Not fun. Hopefully, not much farther. Watch for heavy fire. No, 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 Ow. Fucking hell. Ow. Again. Okay, it's looking away. Still more husks. Okay, but that's not taking care of. <laughs> Alright. Unpleasant. Oh look, another one. No, not the Another pair of them. Because uh, dealing with that bullshit once wasn't annoying enough. Oops. I did not mean to shoot that, but okay. Don't die, right? Simple. Also, we later we got to know that science can indeed also just cost the Get ready to the They can't. I don't know what they need out of here. Destroying I mean, that Scion looked a lot. The Scions are three husks combined. Oh, oh, right, I was thinking of, um... Harbinger. I know, he does not, he does not possess mooks. Okay. Well, he doesn't possess husks. And this yeah. is what we came here for in the first place. That it. So the Starburst team did recover, but where are they now? Uh, we just finished shooting all of them. Well, most of them. Yeah, pretty much. Oh! Go get 
I didn't know you could knock out a gift, but apparently you can. Interesting. Well, I hit exactly what like you need. Oh, hello there. Also, hello there. Fuck, I don't want to change. I have no idea if I'm actually hitting him. Okay, I did hit it a good few times. Combat throws mm. away. What is with my camera here? Uh, okay, there we go. That was weird. Just the face thing. Not that was indeed weird. I believe the technical term for that is jank. Yes, that is also a pretty good term for it. Oh, good. Okay, Revenant. Okay, Barrier. Sweet Jesus, this thing does no damage to it. Yeah. Fuck's sake. Grunt's durable enough to deal with this. Yeah, that's kind of his job. Disappear. Shepard, that gap's still here. Wanted for target practice? Leave it there. You know what they are. If it gets into Normandy's computers. <laughs> you said it yourself. No one's ever found one intact. That's true, but I'm not sure it's worth the risk, Shepard. There's no time to debate it, Tally. Come on. Now, if only they dropped that quickly. That 
is a dead Reaper. Reaper, IFF, successfully retreated. Loss of Cerberus team on Reaper vessel unfortunate, but unsurprising. We used team's health records for comparisons against husks encountered on Reaper for possible insight into the indoctrination and husk conversion process. Yeah, oh. Nasty. If they can think of any way to reverse no, that, it it's irreversible. We need better equipment to fight the Reapers. An intact Geth would be invaluable to Cerberus's cyber weapons division. We'll have to disagree on that, ma'am. I saw enough of these things on Eden Prime. Space it. Cerberus has a long-standing cash bounty for an intact Geth. I assure you, the reward is significant. I want to know why it has a piece of N7 armor strapped to its chest. Battle trophy, maybe? Mostly not this the arm, no, but... No, yeah. trophies imply emotions that AIs don't have. I doubt it's more than a convenient field repair. I've killed hundreds of these things, but I've never had a chance to talk to one. This one tried to communicate with us. Hell, it probably saved our lives. Why? Reactivating the Geth is a risk. If you do so, it should be for humanity's best interests, and not your curiosity. I still think our best interests involve an airlock. <laughs> I'm not deciding one way or the other until I know what we've got here. I want to start it up. Interrogate it. If we activate it, there is no guarantee we can deactivate it again. Bullets can. That's not what I... Thank you, both of you, for your recommendations. I've made my decision. Tally's gonna freak when she hears about this. <laughs> Fucking Tally was there! So what about this Reaper IFF? Yeah. I have determined how to integrate it with our systems. However, the device is Reaper technology. It is important we test it thoroughly before attempting the Omega-4 relay. It will take some time to properly integrate it with our own systems. Are we talking hours or days? Impossible to say. The technology is complex. The crew will begin work immediately. Okay. Until then, we keep building our team. I'll let you know when the IFF is ready for shakedown. Well then, shall we go talk to, um, the robot? Sounds good. Finally gonna have a full team, huh? <laughs> I love, I, I, I love the, uh, that light bulb going on over your head. Earlier. Commander, you Wait, it had occurred to me at some point, but I didn't really think about it until we were just here, I thought it was I thought it would be later, not just in the middle of that. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing my best to try and, mis to re to re try and misdirect you on it. And I, I'm turning this I have the impression on. that it ready. could potentially oh, yeah. be a gate in some way or a robot. I have isolated our systems and erected additional firewalls. I am prepared to resist any hacking attempt. Making that noise. Whatever that noise is. Get to speak. Can you understand ah. me? Yes. Are you going to attack me? No. You said my name aboard the Reaper. Have we met? We know of you. You mean I've fought a lot of Get? We have never met. No. You and I have. But I've met other Get. We are all Get. And we have not met you. You are Shepard, Commander, Alliance, Human, fought heretics, killed by collectors, rediscovered on the old machine. Old machine? You mean the Reaper? Reaper, a superstitious title originating with the Protheans. We call those entities the old machines. You seem to know an awful lot about me. Extranet data sources, insecure broadcasts, all organic data sent out is received. We want you. You watch me, or you watch organics? Yes. Which? Both. What Fair do you enough. mean, heretics? 
can't build our own future. The heretics asked the old machines to give them the future. They are no longer part of us. We were studying the old machine's hardware to protect our future. Hmm. Are the Reapers a threat to you, too? Yes. Why would they attack other machines? We are different from them, outside their plans. What future are the Geth building? Ours. Will anyone else be affected by whatever it is you're doing? If they involve themselves, they will. So, you aren't alive with the Reapers? We oppose the heretics. We oppose the old machines. Shepard Commander opposes the old machines. Shepard Commander opposes the heretics. Cooperation furthers mutual goals. Are you asking to join us? Yes. Then what should I call you? Geth. I mean you, specifically. We are all Geth. What is the individual in front of me called? There is no individual. We are Geth. There are currently 1,183 programs active within this platform. My name is Legion, for we are many. Well, that seems appropriate. Yeah. Christian Bible, the Gospel of Mark, chapter 5, verse 9. We acknowledge this is an appropriate metaphor. We are Legion, a terminal of the gap. We will integrate into Normandy. The exchange of data. So yeah, fifth <laughs> yeah. squad mate, a fucking guest. Cool. <laughs> I know, right? And with that, I think we can put this down for today. Sounds good. Yeah. So, uh, next time, figuring out whatever baggage Legion has, helping tally with hers, and hitting that relay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, next time. Later.